I'm Rachel Joyify, and the other day I was watching a Karen Cavett video where she talks about 20 weird craft supplies that she owns, and even though I'm only a semi-crafter, I could really relate with that video. When you do crafting, there are so much weird stuff that you just accumulate. But looking at my craft table, I realized that it didn't have that many craft related stuff, but my room in general has a lot of weird stuff, so today I'm gonna show you 20 weird things from my room. The first thing is this very, very mini Barbie passport. See, you open it up. <gasps> Look at that. Barbie. Barbie Roberts. So that's the first thing. And the next thing is this Rainforest Cafe piggy bank. There's nothing in it. Hasn't been anything in it for a very long time, but it is just too cool to get rid of. Look at this. The next thing is something I got last summer and I absolutely love it. Oh my dog. So basically they take classical paintings and then they put dogs on the heads. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. And when I got it, it was packaged so I couldn't see inside it and there's no description anywhere, but I just hoped. I hoped that would it would be good and it was good. The next thing is some books. I own not one. Not two, but three copies of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. In high school, I was in a production of Little Women, and so whenever I see a copy of Little Women, I just need to buy it. <laughs> the next item is the Rijksmuseum Memory Game M Masterpieces. M Masterpieces. I got this in Amsterdam, and you know, I'm not someone who plays memory games usually, but it's so cool. Look at this. Basically, it has a bunch of masterpieces from the Rijksmuseum, like the Milk Maid. The next couple items are themed, and they're themed around Harry Potter. Surprising, I know. The next thing is something I got for about 50 cents at an antique store, and it is this Harry Potter puzzle. Who knows if all the pieces are there? But you know, it's the thought that counts. I just, you know, I just like having the box and seeing the big picture. And the next Harry Potter thing is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Coca-Cola bottle. Again, I got this at an antique store, and again, I probably can't do anything with this, but it's cool. It's Chamber of Secrets. It's, it's just cool. The third and final Harry Potter thing is this, which is a Deathly Hallows box that I made in middle school. I made this in art class, and it's very unfunctional, but you know, I have the Deathly Hallows on the side, and on the other side, and then I have some Horcruxes, because why not? Why not? And moving on, the next item is this bird cage that I think is from Hobby Lobby, and I don't know where it came from, and I don't know where it will go. <laughs> I brought this to my dorm last year, and I didn't use it, but I just brought it along just in case, you know, for some reason, I would need a bird cage. Next is this window from my basement. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Probably something crafty, but I just have this laying around in my room. <laughs> Someday I'll do a project with it. Oh, really heavy. And next is this bucket full of doorknobs. I done a Christmas project of doorknobs and the doorknobs just never left my room. And so now I just have a bunch of doorknobs <laughs> and it's super heavy and so I can't move it anywhere. And the next thing is zombie flesh, where you can make your flesh like a zombie and I have definitely used it in times that has not been Halloween. <laughs> it's fun. I got it for cheap after Halloween and you know sometimes I just like to look like a zombie. Okay. Next is this dinosaur head from a dollar store because I got it because I just I just wanted I just wanted to get it a lot. <laughs> and so you know occasionally I put it on my head and I just contemplate that you know I'm going to college and this is what I'm doing with my time. And something I think a lot of people can relate to. I have so many plastic bags within other plastic bags. Why do I do this? I have so many plastic bags, but I need them. I need them. Next is my giant bag of Epsom salt, which I use to make bath bombs, but it is huge. And I've made so many bath bombs from this and it's still a hunk of Epsom salt. And the next thing I do use for my craft table is a bunch of spray painted silverware. Yep, 
We got some nice gold, we got some silver. I think I had thought that I was gonna do more projects with them than I thought I would. And so I just have a bunch of spray painted plastic knives and forks and spoons. I also have this flower garland that I got from Hobby Lobby and I don't really know where to put it and I don't like putting it on my crafting table so I just hang it from my light. Professional and safe. And something that you probably know that I have way too many of, floppy disks. They're not all here. They're, they're on my crafting table, but I have so many floppy disks in my room, it is unnatural. We had a bunch of floppy disks down in our basement, and I made a couple of videos with them, and I just kind of keep them in here, just in case I need to make more coasters, because that's the best thing I can do with floppy disks. Okay, so in my room, I have not one, not two, not three, but four R's. It's almost like my name started with an R. And you can tell that three of them are from Hobby Lobby because they're all the same R. And finally, number 20. I got a Trek mug. I've had this for so long. I don't know how old I was when I got this. There's also nothing in here, but. Look at this fine piece of art. Look at this. Someone in my family bought this. I hope that you like this video of me showing you random things from my room. I don't know, I just kind of like seeing sort of things that make rooms unique to the person. And yeah, I hope that you like this video and I hope that you have a great day. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Ah, uh, my hair.